Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a tier list for Year 7, uh, Season 4, Operation Solar Raid. So this is going to contain both the attackers and the defenders, so yeah, let's get right into this video. So yeah, um, so Solus isn't on this yet, because she hasn't been like placed in it, but we're going to put Solus in an A tier operator, so just imagine Solus is right here. And so I think Solus is an A tier operator, because she's sort of like a, I think she's going to be really good in competitive, so I don't think she'll be good solo queue, because you can't really pair her, but to be able to like see when people are droning, and stuff like that, and see when people are like placing down um, like their thermite breaches and hard like hard breach gadgets, it'll be really good in like a team like cohesive experience. So like playing with like another person. So like if you climb Bandit Trick while using Solus, so I put Solus in A tier, maybe even B, B tier because we haven't really seen her in action yet. But A or B, she's not C tier, or she's not S tier yet. So let's get right into this. So um, Mute is an S tier. He has the SMG11 and the shotgun. It's good for making rotates. He's just a good operator in general. And it's never bring to bad. Bring it's never bad to bring a mute in my opinion. Pulse is going to put a B tier operator, he's sort of fallen off over the years, UMP is still a strong gun, I think they should give him a 1.5 times to just boost his pick rate a bit, but he's good at playing uh, plant denial with the C4 below. Castle, uh, B, B slash A tier operator, I think that like he's really good in higher ranks because you have you can waste utility like um, nades or ash charges, uh, but he's not really seen in lower ranks, but he's got a good gun and the fact that he has a shotgun as a secondary makes him good for rotates and stuff like that, so never a bad pick. We've got the Chunky Boys, um, Rook and Doc, which can do them together because they're both B tier. They're solid defenders, they were oh, way better when they had the 2.5 times on defense, but now that's been removed. But I still think they're good, and it's good to be like, you can play like powerful positions where like, if we're being capital burnt in Pro League, you can just sting yourself up. And Rook has self res now, which all withstand, which is really good in my opinion. Warden is another B tier uh, defender in my opinion. I think that he's good, that like, he's situational at best, so let's say you know a team is bringing a lot of yings or smoke grenades or trying to do rush plants or playing blitz, I think playing wooden in that sense is pretty good. Like for example, if you're defending on a bank and then you play warden on the blue stairs to sort of hold server and the blue stairs and sort of like um, square, he's pretty good there. The Shankar C, I think the rework has sort of made him a bit used, like he was useless before but hasn't really done much to like help him. But yeah, I think he's situational, for example, like if you're playing plant denial on a bank bottom floor and then they're trying to plant server and then you're just sitting in the other bomb site and then you can just like press angles where you can just like throw your Shemika launch and sort of burn them, which is pretty cool. So I think he's a C tier operator. We've got Zami B tier, I mean S tier. Zami is probably one of the best characters I've added to this game and he's way better than these two shitty characters down here. But Zami is really cool. She's like, she's allowed, she's sort of like Mira. Like she's allowed positions to be played but you cannot play before. For example, like in Rafters, if you put some of Zami barriers on like uh, R1, R2, R3, you can hold like certain positions but you weren't able to like play before, which is really good. Um, Thorn is A tier, I think like she's she's alright, I think a 1.5 times would make her a bit better, but she's just a tramp operator, she's got a good gun, and she just, she's a, she's a, she's a decent operator to have in my opinion, maybe B tier, I think I put her in B tier. Next we have uh, Aruni, who is, I, I think Aruni is S tier, she's a DMR, two shotgun on defense, and the Aruni gates are really good for, um, maintaining, like, sort of, like, making sure, um, stuff can't get through and burning utility. Next we have uh, Jackal. Jackal is an A tier operator, good for playing roamers, but the thing is, half the time he's gonna he is gonna get banned, so like you're barely ever gonna be able to play him. Malusi, A tier operator, good at slowing down, good gun, and just I think she's a she's a three armor now, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Doctor B, B tier, she's pretty mid. She's she's okay. There's nothing special about her. Well, my S tier operator, good gun and good at burning utility because of his uh, magnets. Thunderbird A tier, good for healing, good gun, and then it's just situational. Never bad to bring her. Sledge is, I'd say, B tier. Uh, he's lost his, he's lost his um, SMG 11, which kind of makes him a bit mid, but he's still got a good gun and yeah, never bad to bring a sledge. He's really good for vertical. Oryx A tier, I mean Oryx is B tier. Good, for, he's got a really good gun and he's using predict sometimes because he can like make make late flanks and stuff like that. Go used to be an S tier operator, but she's pro he's probably like a B now. He's okay. The, the Vector's okay. He's so good with the 1.5 times, but he's situational. Mozzie's an S tier operator. I mean, B A tier operator, sorry. Good gun, but situational. And, like, I like playing Mozzie, but I just don't feel like he brings the certain amount of utility to the game that he used to bring. So, yeah, we'll probably put him in A tier. Uh, Caden is an S tier. Good gun. Two really good guns. And he's good at, like, um, making sure, like, they, like, players can't get hatches anymore. And he's good on some sites, and he's good on a lot of sites. He's good on, like, um, like for example, bank basement to get the hatches. Clash, C tier operator. I don't enjoy playing Clash. I don't think anybody enjoys playing Clash or playing against Clash. So, yeah. 
I'll buy S2 Operator right now, probably one of the best operators of the game. It's basically what the Jaeger Yeager mains used to be, who transitioned into the Vigil mains, just running around shooting people. Maestro's an A tier. His, um, like, turrets are pretty good, so, like, they do the job, and his Alder is still really good, in my opinion, so that should be good. Next we have Thermite. Thermite's an S2 Operator, still is, will always be an S2 Operator. Like, he's got a really good pair of guns, he's got smoke grenades, which are good. And he's got, um, like, his exothermic charges, which are, like, the best to, like, open really big holes. So, yeah. Blitz, detail operator, pretty much useless in this meta. Valk is an A tier operator. There's not much else to say from Blitz. He's pretty useless. Valk has good cameras, a good gun. And, yeah, even though you can't throw them outside anymore, which I think was better for the game's environment, she's still pretty good. Ella, B tier operator. She's, still, she's a, like a shadow and a cre like a relic of her former self. She's still good and she's never a bad pick because her, Gris her Grismont mines did get nerfed, but they're still pretty good. Next we have Zofia. Zofia is an S tier character. The ability to have concussions and like um, hard breach shit, like gadgets, like denial, like opening walls and stuff like that, soft walls, and a really good gun. And two claymores makes an amazing like, entry for our gun, it still is. Vigil is probably an A tier, I mean A or S tier, like, yeah, they were going to give him a 2 times, which was crazy, or they were going to give him a 1.5 times, which made him an S tier, but he's still an A tier, he's a good Roman, he's not bad to have. Next we're going to do Sense and um, Grim, who are both D tiers, they're both pretty fucking useless. It's probably some of the worst characters they've added, ever added to the game in my opinion, so yeah. Echo, A tier operator, good for denying plan and... Good for just wasting a lot of time. Cap Can is an S tier operator in this season. His traps can give you so much chip damage, and he's a really good gun, and he's two speed. He's just an incredible operator now. Bandit and Jaeger are S tier operators. Two really good guns. Both like both like can like the Jaeger ADSs can like win you round single handedly. Same with bandits if you're able to bandit trick effectively. Kali's in a, I think Kali's a B slash A tier operator. Kali's able to sort of just like do, she's uh, to defend, like to open up walls, sort of like a Thatcher alternative, which is pretty good because Thatcher's sort of broken. So yeah, but with EMP grenade, she's become a bit like less useful, which is kind of shit, but yeah, she's not a bad operator to have. Ying is a B tier operator, or maybe even A. Ying is really good now. I'm not a lot of players use Ying. Like playing Ying on armory, like lockers can single handedly when you're around. Buck, uh, if we're putting Sledge A tier, we have to put Buck A tier. He lost his nades, which has made him a bit less useless, but he's still pretty good. Frost, I'm going to do a hard pit, a hard take here. Frost is an A tier operator, like one of the best guns with the 1.5 times. Three traps, which people in high ranks do not expect. I've gotten so many kills using a Frost trap, Frost mat, which like teams just don't expect. Yana A tier as well. Oh no, Yana's an S tier. Best entry fragging. She's got nades. She's got like um, the replicators, which is basically like a third drone, like a human drone. And yeah, she's just really good. Nomad S2 operator, being able to like hide out the flank, like cancel off flanks, and just not having like not having to worry about having a teammate on drone watch or flank watch. is Just so pivotal. He's just such a good play to have. So yeah, definitely an S2 operator. Thatcher and Maverick S2 operators opening the walls and then just like opening and destroying electronic things. It's just such a vital thing to have on attack. So they're both in S. Kavera is C tier, pretty mid, only good in low ranks. Zero is an A tier operator, very flexible and not bad to have. He's good for flank watch and provides a similar sort of um, sort of style as um, Nomad does. Mira S tier, barely played, but when she is played, she can single handedly win you rounds by just like denying off a push. Legion S uh, A tier, got nerfed. He used to be, he used to, with his 2.2 T5, and when you used to be able to see his goon mines, he was like one of the best operators in the game. Blackbeard S C tier, good on certain sites like Consular if you're holding off the double repels on console window. Smoke S tier will be, will probably be, Smoke has never been nerfed, I don't think. So I think he's probably the best operator in the game. Uh, he's been like, He's been like a top three defender in the game at every point in time. So yeah, he's a good, solid pick to have. Fuse is B tier, pretty mid, but he's good. He's the AK-12, which although it's being nerfed next season, is still really good. Grillock, C, B tier, good for holding off flank. Ash, A tier. Hibana, S tier, obviously. Hibana has been S tier since she got released. To be, able to be able to open balls, hatches, two really good guns, just an amazing skill to have. Capital B tier, good for holding off flat. I'm good for like pushing into a site, good like good secondary entry, being able to smoke, then like exit, uh, like fire off someone. Monty C tier, situational. Ace S tier, obviously, like the best hard breacher in my opinion right now. So he goes to the front. He's got the best gun in the game, and he's got some of the best gadgets in the game. Vinker is A tier. Her nerf has made her a bit worse, but she's still not a bad character to have. 
Osa Ata being able to single hand like single handedly win rounds like with a post plant Osa shield is incredible. Twitch is a A tier a B tier as well. And since I know she's been a bit like underrated, but I think she's still okay. So I think I put her like high B high B tier. Lion B tier, Shadow of his former self. No, not we've got A tier or S tier. He's really, really good as an entry fragger. People don't like people don't really utilize him. Flores is an S tier operator. He can just single handedly win rounds and just like he is sort of a Thatcher alternative, I'd say. Amaru, B tier, situational. IQ, same with that. IQ is pretty much useless now. I don't think I've seen an IQ in like games. And the glasses is easier. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this list. So this is probably A tier. Like around here, maybe. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And this is Octo. See you guys later. This is the Solar Raid.